Hello folks, this is Vagrant and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons and Twin Peaks. And I have been a little bit busy since the last video. What is that? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, okay. So, I've been a little bit busy since the last video, mainly in terraforming and stuff like that. Obviously, we've got a long, long way to go, but I'll give you a little island. Oh, past me looks so sad. Speaking of sad, by the way, bloody book, of all people, came up to me and said he wasn't loving island life anymore and that he might leave. Because he needs to go get hench. And I was like, no, book, you're staying forever. <laughs> this is a cult, you're not allowed to go. I did ask him to stay. If he keeps talking about leaving, I'll let him leave, you know. Anyways, obviously, a long, long, long way to go. Um, one of the first things I'm thinking about already is replacing the fence, unfortunately, you know, which we, that's my gnomes <laughs> guarding my, uh, my house. Um, there's a nicer fence than this. I think the Zen fence looks really nice and we might replace this fence with the Zen fence which would be an almighty waste of materials, but there you go. Anyways, eventually this path down here is going to lead like to stuff. I like the idea of having the stone path and then having the dirt path sort of come off it in little bits here and there to lead you to new places. It's a big shame that this doesn't connect and that doesn't connect and blah 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 blah. Can that really not connect better than that? Yeah, it can, it can. Let's hop into the app. Let's sort this nonsense out. <clears throat> so, there's a bit to do here. There's a bit to do. I will explain my outfit for you soon as well. My new dramatic clothing on the on the chest area. It's, I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. But let's uh, just do that. Do that. Blomp. And blomp. Lovely. That's literally all I want to do. We're going to close the app. I'm just going to try and mix it up from video to video. Maybe we'll fish. Maybe we'll terraform. Blah, blah, bloop, bloop. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Anyways, so if we head along here, there we go. That's going to lead us to the orchard over on the left-hand side. Down here, this is our new bridge. This only came in today. It now takes us down towards the uh, city center kind of thing. The important thing more than anything is that I can now get around. I've, obviously, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of style, but in general, I can get around the town. You know, that's 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 the focus. I've put some street lamps up. I've got a little bit of a plan. Um, hence this little raised wooden bit. I like the idea of I'm probably gonna have to extend that a little bit. We're gonna put some inclines there, and behind the museum there'll be a little raised area that you can go up onto, and there'll be a couple of like telescopes and maybe like a couple of the small dinosaur fossils and stuff like that. We're gonna keep it fairly low key, but I thought that's a nice little idea. So there's our museum, and we head down here. You'll see I've started to work as well on the um, on the canal. The only problem is this house over here, which I believe is the cat. Yeah, it's it's kind of in the way of where the, the idea is the canal is going to go straight down from here, you know, across here, straight down from here, and on the other side of the canal we're going to put at least five of the houses. I think we're going to keep the houses separated, we're going to have five in one area, five for my faves, you know, that's the preferred bit, and then let me have a little look on the map here. So that left hand side, uh, which I can't actually, if you kind of look above where the tailor is, that line up there is going to be the five houses. We could maybe fit 10 in there. Nah. And then maybe... I don't know. I'm going to think of somewhere else to put the other five, basically. Maybe to the Northern Museum, but I think probably more likely to be on the right-hand side. Maybe... You know where the canal comes down straight from my house? Maybe in an area around there. Maybe just to the right of there. Something like that. And then we've got basically the rest of the map to do whatever the hell we want with. <clears throat> but at least I can finally get around. I've put a couple of bins down and stuff like that. It's all very in development. So, new things to show you. First things first, we have this lovely lass over here. This is, of course, uh, right, Mabel, Sable, I can't remember her name. Label, that's the one. Oh. Okay, so I talked to her a little bit early on. I haven't done the thing. Basically, what she wants, and she's going to give me a gift. I don't know what she's going to give me. And she told me to dress dramatically, as though I'm in a play, as though I'm in a theatre. And she gave me this top in order to kind of represent that. So we're going to hop into the... I swear I can hear someone singing. Am I going crazy? I don't think I've ever been on this time of day. I don't recognise music. So we're going to head to the shop. And try to find some dramatic clothing to make us, well, dramatic. It'll look like we work in a theatre or something like that, and hopefully we'll get a gift. It's a little bit weird, and I wonder if they're going to mention it. 
I know you're going to give me a new pattern. Your sister, who you were going on and on about just the other day, is outside. And you've not said a word. Very strange. Right, let's see if we can find like a dramatic hat and pants and shoes and all that kind of jazz. Trousers, not pants. I'm British, mate. Bloody British. So we don't need to change the top. The top is already... Oh, I like these actually. <laughs> the top is already... Oh, I like that as well. The top is already dramatic. Um, so we're looking for dramatic other bits. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to have to come back and get that. I mean, we can of course go and get... Yes. Loving it. Feeling it. Huh. There's no... Hmm. We might have to go check our... Uh... We should just buy a hat, I guess. I actually like the safety helmets. Okay, we're going to buy those and we'll see if it works. And if not, what I'll do is go and check out... Thanks, Mabel. Well, you know, we'll nip back to the house at some point and we'll see what we've got in our collection to see if we can make anything a little bit more fancy, essentially. I don't know how it judges it. Maybe some items are tagged as, you know, dramatic, essentially. Sure. Come on, label. Come on, label. Let's do this. Me and you. There we go, theatrical style. <laughs> You're welcome, label. Take a tailor stick at the tailor shop. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was kind of more. I don't really care about the ticket because at the end of the day, it's 3,000 bells. Who cares? But. Some custom designs from her fashion label, that's, I'm all over that. You're very dapper, aren't you? Who is singing? I can just hear, like, a little hint of it. What are these? Are they cool? No. <laughs> no is the answer to that question. I can say with the other ones. I guess we're going to get hard hat for this episode. Someone out I think someone's behind the building. It's Hopper! <laughs> I just shoved him out. Right, okay. No, 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 no. Anyways, so last night, I uh, did a thing. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I take a photo? I need a thumbnail. So, you know, remember I mentioned that... Um, A um, thingy. You remember I mentioned that thingy, yeah? <laughs> that, um, oh my god, what am I doing? That Transha Island had become a lot more difficult. Just because... Wait, wait, wait. How do I... How do I rotate? What? I'll never understand this photo system. Anyways. Transha Island became a lot more difficult because of the water bugs. Well, last night I went and had a fly round to a Nook Miles ticket using my doll t-shirt thing, which is why it's in the inventory still, and ended up on Bamboo Island, which is pretty cool because Bamboo Island doesn't actually have any water on it. So the only things that spawn once you clear everything are tiger beetles, mole crickets, grrr, the wharf roaches, and indeed transfers. So I filled my inventory with transfers. And since I've apparently become nocturnal, I can sell them this morning. And I thought it'd be fun to have a giant stack of tarantulas to show you, so there we go. I'm going to have to do two trips, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, we need to take uh, turnip prices as well. It was 115 this morning, something like that. It's not great. Buy my many transfers. I need it. I'm actually really cash poor right now. This transfer is going to buy probably yet another bridge. We need loads of bridges still. Very much not done with the bridges. The uh, I'm basically ignoring the house debt until we get our uh, turnip money. Oh, turnip prices. 
And that's assuming I do get a decent price for my turnips eventually. Oh god, my soul. My soul. <laughs> okay, so 140 yesterday. Wait, it's today Tuesday. Yeah, so it's 140 yesterday morning. Then it was 141. This morning it was 115. And now it's what, 70. One? Something like that. It could be 75. I don't know. It's in the 70s at this point. It's just so I've got something to put in the tracker. But more transfers to fetch. My hairy little friends. I think this is the first day, by the way, ever. Like, literally ever <laughs> that I haven't bought something from Nook Shop. You know, these four items here, I just don't want any of them. I'm also really, really close to running out of storage room. We've got like 30 slots left out of, you know, 400. So I'm going to be a little bit more picky about what we buy now that I know that um, the way it works is not how much you spend here. But apparently you have to wait 30 days. It may be a combination of things. I think you basically have to wait a minimum of 30 days, which for us is about um, two, what, three days away, something like that. Three or four days away, something like that, I guess, until 30 days has passed. I suspect you do have to have spent a certain amount and maybe bought a certain number of items and had a certain number of visits, stuff like that. But there is at least a minimum requirement, 30 days. So. You are so cute! Oh, right, okay, so we've got things to do. Ah, oh, Hopper, never leave. No one's allowed, I don't want anyone to leave. But I also said I wasn't going to be a dictator. But maybe I'm going to change that. Maybe I'm going to get a throne. Oh, they're exercising together. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. I am low on uh, miles. I do keep buying tickets. And I did buy, you know, a lamppost, and a lamppost, and a utility pole, and like 25 recipes. So that's that's kind of why. So I've got a new hairstyle, but I've, I've always got a hat on, so why do I care? I do want the outdoor bath. I think that's going to go in like our zen garden kind of thing, you know, at the top beyond, like, behind the house. I, w I want the area to have a very nice, sort of, natural feel. We're going to buy more street lamps, more utility poles. I think they're really cool. They really suit the, the city kind of look. I want drink machines. I want benches. But these aren't recipes. These are things you buy, and they're very, very expensive. That's why we need the miles. Right, enough of them there. <clears throat> Get it, girl. Get it. Let's see what's new today in... Nope, didn't mean to click. Nope. Ah. <laughs> Let's see what's new to... No! <laughs> this is totally my fault. <laughs> Let's see what's new today in Nook Shopping. Unless I already did this today. I can't actually remember. I don't think so. Floor light. Interesting. I'm going to get that. That could be really useful, actually. I could, yeah, that would be, ooh, I wonder if we can put that down on a path. That could be really cool. KK Blues, of course. And that'll do. Do, 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 do. Right, do I have anything in the ABD? I think I've got like, yeah, 150. So we're gonna buy a bridge. I'm gonna put in 50k. This is kind of like my backup fund for A, more bridges, but B, maybe I need, you know, maybe we just don't manage to sell our turnips for a good price this week and we need to sell, like, buy more turnips on Sunday. So it's nice to have a backup fund in case of that. Not that bothered about the house. Not yet. Oh, whoops. Oh, and we have a new holiday this month. Um, 22nd, I believe. I think it's eight days away. It's Earth Day. Now, Earth Day is being applied in an update. We can't, like, data mine it and find out what's going on. So, interestingly, we actually don't know what Earth Day is going to be. I would like to move a house. Um, home. 50k this. Bloody 50k. Merry. Maybe. <laughs> she, she's fine. She doesn't care. Just shift it up while she's in there. <laughs> she loves me. She's not going to complain. Everyone loves me. I'm a delight. Look at me. <laughs> Could you not love me? 
She's toast down. We. Oui. I mean, I'm doing it so that her her home area can be nicer. It's hard to do the home deco while she lives there. It's kind of like grand designs, right? If I had a caravan to stick her in and I could demolish her house, that's what I would do. No, it is, yeah. So we have to move her and we have to move the other house out of the way and then I can work on that area. And we're going to finish. That's going to be our top priority. Get that area 100% done and then move the houses in. Uh, I want a bridge as well. Because don't I always want a bloody bridge? I don't even know what I need. I actually need another incline. Let's get an incline. Which is the one I'm gonna... Hmm, probably that one in the natural areas, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think what I want. Do I want the stone one? This is for... Yeah, I think the idea is like the lower level. It's gonna be... Uh, hmm, hmm. But it's through the orchard. I think I maybe don't want this yet. I think I need to think about that a little bit more. Yeah, well, I, you could just let me pick another one. thing, buddy. <laughs> Let's go for bridges instead. You always need a bridge. You definitely don't need a bridge. Everyone always needs a bridge. And I'm just going to assume I need another stone bridge, because I always need a stone bridge. Yeah. And then we need to pick the incline. It's for... I'll show you when we hop outside. Get it, girl. And then we're going to do some fishing. I have gathered not too many pieces of bait. Um, I think my plan is basically I'm going to gather... Like, I've got, like, what, 27? I'm just going to get... That's, like, one run-through. That's, like, one inventory's worth of clams. I'm just going to do that every day. And we'll do, like, a quick little bit of fishing, and we'll hope we catch a tuna. And if not, we'll do it again tomorrow. If it gets too late in the day and too close to the end of the month, then we will have to mix that up a little bit. But for now, it's okay. Um, this is where I want the bridge. Here. And the incline was actually going to be... Uh, probably one over here as well, but the one I was thinking about was uh, down here... I'm probably going to move all these trees because this is the orchard. So I want to be able to incline up there. Just so, because you can't get to the other incline up to my house from here. You know, because over there, right? And <laughs> my gnome. So what you have to do is come down here. And then we're going to lock here. And then go up. But because I don't totally know what I want to do with this area, with this long stretch, I think the orchard is going to go over here on the left mainly. I might flatten the top. Like along here and forward, so this whole area can be turned into an orchard. And then... I don't think I want a stone path through the orchard. I think it's going to be the dirt one or the... Yeah, probably the dirt one. Well, so I do want it to have a natural feel. We're going to bring in some wooden... Um, some wooden uh, fencing and stuff like that. I think the bridge over there is going to be stone. Just because it is very linked with... You know, this area down here. Sort of the main part of the town. But after that... I think it's okay to just uh, go into normal stuff. So I think the incline up to the house is probably going to be in wood or something as well. So let's let's put the bridge down. Uh, I'm gonna have to kill this tree, unfortunately. So I'm sorry, tree. Dan, Dan. Ah, oh, it's a backworm. That was that was a gone worm. Do I have a shovel? Did I lose my shovel? I did. Well, that's moderately annoying. Okay, let's go grab a shovel. <laughs> and then we need inclines here and on the other side of the museum. I need to think about that. I'm not totally sure that's what I want to do at the museum. I think it could look okay, but... Oh, no. I need to think about that as well. The problem is literally just that the inclines and stuff takes a day and a lot of money, and I don't want to keep doing it over and over again, obviously, because it's going to burn me uh, money-wise completely out. However, it's, it's, I can, it's why I understand why people time travel. If you time travel, it's a single player game, right? If you time travel like a day or two, like a day ahead and then a day back all the time in order to, because what that'll do, nothing will change, but it'll force things to build rather than having to wait a day. As it happens, that doesn't really matter now anyway, because we don't really have enough money to keep working on our infrastructure until we sort the turnips out. But I can, I can understand that. That I can understand. 
what I don't totally get. At the end of the day, it's a single player game, so it doesn't necessarily matter. As far as then, I'm sure something here is non-essential. Yes, it's a bloody umbrella. Um, but if people are using it to, you know, skip forward and farm creatures that they can't get hold of yet and stuff like that, that makes a little bit less sense to me just because I think, well, then what are you going to do for the rest of the year, <laughs> you know? <laughs> this seems daft to me, but yeah, it's used to that room, really. Is that right? Oh, I don't know. Do do. Let me make some markers. I think it's right, but I just I just want to double check. I want the bridge to come straight forward at the edge here, because it's going to limit my space with the uh, the raised area, which I might get rid of. I'm not I'm not totally convinced by that. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. About right? Oh, yes, I think it's perfect. Hmm. It's thinner than I expected. It's gonna be like straight down there. It's actually, I think it might be one spot too far to the right. I think I need it further to the left. It'd be so nice if I could look around a little bit. I think that's. Wait, no. Is that not the same? That's the same. Yeah. I, th I think one to the left. Otherwise, the path is going to look weird. Let's go over here. This is what I mean, though. It's risky, right? Because... Oops. Um, if I get this wrong, and it, you know, it's definitely doable, because at the end of the day, there's no, there's no testing, there's no... Yeah, you know, I can't zoom the camera out and look around or anything like that. So you can't get it wrong. And if I do, not only is it a waste of 170... 168,000 specifically... Um, bells, but I have to wait a day. So I can see why people cheat that. I'm still going to avoid doing it. The only thing I've done so far is buy turnips, because I woke up too late, but I think that's understandable. I'm going to avoid it. This will not become Minecraft creative, but I don't judge people who do that. And to be honest, I don't judge anyone who does anything. If, you, if that's how you want to play the game, then fine. I think the problem is, as well, there's a lot of people posting online about their really fancy over-the-top builds, and their full museums and stuff. All this stuff that wouldn't have been possible without what is essentially cheating, you know, whether it's justifiable or not, it is cheating. And that creates, like, a lot of pressure for some players. I've seen a lot of people react, you know, seeing other people's builds and kind of freaking out that theirs is, you know, rubbish. That was too far to the left, right? Yeah, way too far to the left. This will work eventually. <laughs> right, right, right. What does that look like? Is that okay? I don't think that's okay. I think that's too far to the left. I need to be able to get... Right, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I'm probably removing this fence anyway, so I'm just going to grab this. What I want... Is that... That gap needs to be there. I want a line on here, because we're going to like plant some flowers next to the um, the concrete, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, I'm going to put down the fence. Bury in hole? <laughs> Why? <laughs> so I know what I need. I don't know why that's been so weird. Is the gap there, and then the fence. So we can, we can work around that as a target. We're going to get there, folks. We're going to get there. I think it's too far to the left, but well, let's have a look. Yeah. I don't know if this is doable, you know? Oh, that looks better. That's okay. I suspect it's one too far to the left. Right? Assuming I want this green bit to go all the way up. But then the path doesn't fit in neatly, does it? I think that was right, because look, if you look, the, the bridge is right in the path. It's really annoying. The path and most other things operate on a very slightly different grid system. 
It makes it very, very hard to match things up. Uh, especially with the path. I think that's probably the one. We'll just have to end the uh, the decorations at some point. Okay, whatever. <coughs> Let's call it that. It worries me. And the problem is as well, this is a three wide path. And leading into a bridge, I think is only a two wide path. It is. That's probably the main problem actually, is the path is too wide. And it has to be a three wide path, because otherwise it's not equal here. So basically it's gonna be a two wide path here, and then it's just gonna cut in a little bit. But that's that'll look okay. Okay. So it's a Lloyd. This is gonna be our last thing for a while. I need to save some I need I need to have some cash. You know? This is basically my uh my tarantula bridge. <laughs> And after this, though, the less high priority. Like, once this one's done, I can get around the town. The next big bridge that's important is going to be the one to the left here, because I'm going to need a way to get round to the, um, what is going to be like a big row of houses down here. I'm going to basically, they're going to be very similar looking. They're all going to be basically the same. And they're all going to have like a little garden and a little step. And then they're going to have their own decorations and stuff in that garden to feel a little bit more individual. But in terms of placement, they're going to be identical. Like a town, you know? Right, now that that's bloody done, <laughs> let's go find somewhere for this house. It doesn't really matter, to be fair. There we go. Now, we've still got to move one more house. But well, Mary's was one that was blocking the canal construction, so at least once that's moved, I can get to work on the other bits. Oh, right. Right. How long have I been recording? Okay. So. So. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. With all that done, what we can do is go do some fishing. Uh, I need to upgrade my shovel as well. Oh, yeah, I got a boomerang, you know. Thank you. Balloon. That looks so cool. I mean, I always think that, but that's beside the point. <laughs> it's all that's going in the... So I'll go put this down as well, because I don't really want to carry it around with me. I love Lloyd. He looks like a cactua. There we go. This is the, <laughs> the swimming point or something. We're going to get there. It's a long way away, but we're going to get there. Slowly but surely. Uh, right, so that's all going back in base, except the Dal t-shirt, which I keep on me. Yeah, I'll just wear that now. Because this is going back in base. Where have I just... The morning coat, yes. Um, but yeah, we can go do some fishing. Let's try and get ourselves a tuna. And then, and then, I will officially be done with April. So the last thing I need is a tuna. Not too worried, like I said, not worried about the new stuff that gets added in April, but the... You know what, we've got a lot of fruit on the island. That might be one more bridge. I do need a bridge over the canal. I think, you know where the path is below the museum? I think that's gonna come straight out to the left. I want everything, it doesn't need to be symmetrical or anything, but it does need to be very grid-like and, you know, a lot of sharp right angles. Logical follow-throughs. So probably straight along that path to the left, that'll jut out into a bridge and that'll take you over the canal. Something like that. If I ever change my mind about all this, <laughs> No, we're just we're just we're just hunting for the right fish here. I'm looking for a big boy. Now then, it's probably a sea bass, I think, by the size of it. But it's big enough that I'm willing to take the the shot. Gotta be quicker than that. If that was a bigger fish, I'd have lost it there. It looked bigger. It's, it, the fish look bigger than they are during that initial bit, doing this like little zoom in. I guess it was zoomed in, but... Oh, why are you all tiny? Be cool like me. March. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go. See, again, it looks huge and now it looks smaller. I've had that problem before. Here we go.
I'm actually on a decent fishing streak. I don't know what it is. It's not above 55. I don't think. We can check. Also, I should really do my daily quests. Yeah. Hmm. Let's have a little look down here. Yeah, still, still below 50. I don't know what we're on, but it's below 55 either way. Oh, that's promising. You see, it looked promising. Again, it looked promising, and I'm like, eh. Pretty sure that's maybe a sea bass at a push, you know? Yeah, that felt slow. And that goes my streak. <clears throat> that didn't last long. Okay, that, that, maybe, I guess. Come on. I clicked. Why did I click? I don't know what it is. Like, I'm so good at this on my own. I honestly have no problems. <clears throat> and then I come into a video and it just goes to hell every single time. And I'm nervous because that looks like a big fish. I told it to get away. I just said... Ah! <laughs> when it's on the first bite, I never expect it. Oh my god, what a disaster this has been. I'm going to have to do this on my own. I actually don't think I can fish on video. Efficiently. Efficiently? Oh, hey. I'm here all week, folks. I will partially blame it on the fact that the, there is a sound delay. There is. But it's not a great excuse. Like, I, I could have caught all of these fish. That's a big fish. Come on. Come on. Probably a sea bass to be fair, but still. Yeah, it is. On the plus side, I do think the others were about that size. I don't think I've lost anything huge, but... Still. That, that, I don't know. Is that a sea bass? That looks bigger. I clicked that so fast! I'm not, I can't, I can't. It's fine when fishing got plenty of stuff, right? But when fishing for, like that again. Come on, come on, focus. Nope. All right, stop being cheeky now, come on. It's not sea bass. It's an ore fish. I have lost at least one other large fish today. And as much as there is a sound delay, I don't think that's not big enough. I don't think it's an excuse. Just makes it slightly more difficult. I don't think that's big enough, but hey ho. You can see the difference, can't you? That ore fish was massive. And I think the ore fish is the same size as the other two that I'm looking for. I say over two, I already got a marlin, so. The other one, I guess. Ah, uh, kill me now. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Part of it is that when it is... This definitely is not big enough. When it is a bigger fish, and I think, oh, maybe this is the one, maybe this is the tuna finally, stuff like that, I get not nervous, but I, I want to anticipate it, right, a little bit. And so I click ahead of time. And that has nothing to do with the sound delay. That is just me being stupid. Who wouldn't think I'm good at this? Like, I'm genuinely a pretty good fisher. <laughs> no. Oh well. We got an ore fish. It's worth a decent amount of money. I'm just going to do it on my own. I thought it would be a fun thing to include in the videos. And you know what? When we're hunting things like snapping turtles, which are, like, not that big, it's okay. When I'm going for the big, big, rare fish, I think we just need to, uh, to do it off screen. I can record it. Oh, no, I can't. People have always said that, um, that was nearly English, that if you play on the handheld version rather than the TV version, there's, like, a slight less latency display, uh, delay, so that helps as well. Because, honestly, on the big fish, that timing, is, it is tight. It genuinely is. Uh, there's no excuse, though. I am shamed. I'm a good fisher, just not on video. <laughs> like, so many things in my life. <laughs> 
I can do it in private, but put me on video and I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up, you know? It's a sex joke. In Animal Crossing. Doesn't seem appropriate. Right, that seems like a good time to end it on my shame. Um and he sneezed really badly, so I'm gonna try to stop before that happens. Right. Next video. What are we doing tomorrow? I actually don't know. What I'm, I'm gonna do is some fishing. What I can do, I'll probably do it on the TV and I'll record it. I just won't talk. And I won't. The problem is, of course, that this is running through the Elgato, whereas if I run it through the TV and listen to that sound and play with that movement, it will at least be a little bit quicker. I'll probably do that, and I promise when I go on a big fishing adventure, I will record it so you guys at least get to see that moment, and I'll just stick it into a video when it happens. I think that's a good way to do it. Not that we're never going to go fishing again, but when it's a size 6 fish, maybe not. Um, so we'll get a new bridge tomorrow, we'll probably make some new fencing. I'd like to start working on the orchard. I'm going to have to cull. I'm either, hmm, either going to have to make the space a lot bigger. We have loads of trees. We're going to need to make the space a lot bigger or cut down a lot of the trees. At minimum, I think I want 10 of each. But beyond that, I don't know. We're going to move the other house tomorrow. And then we can, actually, we can get working on the canal and stuff as well. And maybe we'll go on a little dowel trip at some point just because we keep getting rare islands. I've got two rare islands in a row as soon as I started wearing the t-shirt. It's really cool. Right, I'm so sad right now. I definitely threw away at least one level 6 fish, and that makes me very sad. It could have been a tuna, I could have finally been free of this clam hunting hellscape I find myself in. Right, thank you for joining me. <laughs> Not a sentence I ever thought I'd say. I'll see you lovely folks tomorrow, cheers much love as always, bye bye.